There are nine things that you need to know before moving to Chalfont, Pennsylvania. I'm Corey Benhart, your Philadelphia suburbs realtor. And if you've never heard of Chalfont, that's completely okay. That's why I make all of these videos. The first thing that you need to know about Chalfont is its central location. The location of Chalfont is truly one of the best. You can be in downtown Doylestown, downtown Montgomeryville, or downtown Souderton, all within about 10 to 15 minutes. Or if you need to commute into Center City, Philadelphia, it's about an hour commute, or you can use the Chalfont train station that dates back to 1856. And also, if you happen to stop at the Chalfont train station, make sure to visit the ice cream place. It's right across the street. It's called Ow Wow Cow. It's fresh homemade ice cream. It's one of my favorites. The number two thing that you need to know before moving to Chalfont is that it is rapidly growing. Over the last couple of years, Chalfont has transformed from a small and somewhat outdated town to a brand new community-based town full of new construction homes, apartment complexes, and new businesses as well. Although Chalfont has grown drastically over the last couple of years, I would still consider it a bit of a hidden gem location and that not many people that are moving from outside of Pennsylvania really even know about. Next on our list is the walkability of Chalfont. If you're looking for a small town that has a very high walkability with local shopping, dining, and things to do, unfortunately, Chalfont is not that type of town, but Chalfon is very close to a lot of towns that offer those things, which we'll go over more later on in the video. The town of Chalfon has listened to its residents and it is starting to install more and more sidewalks, which is a great thing because it is making Chalfon a little bit more walkable, but it is definitely not as walkable as some of the surrounding towns. Stick with me till the end and we're going to go over one thing that Chalfon does that not many towns offer at all. The fourth thing that you need to know before moving to Chalfont is all of the parks that Chalfont offers. Definitely the most popular park in the Chalfont area is Peace Valley Park, also known as Lake Galena. And it is technically located in Doylestown, but it is only about a five to seven minute drive from Chalfont. Lake Galena or Peace Valley Park offers hiking, biking, boating, fishing, and pretty much everything else that you can think of at a pretty big park. There's also a six mile path that goes all around the lake and the park is also also very popular for barbecues and picnics in the park as well. And number five is that Chalfont has plenty of room for growth. Just because Chalfont has grown significantly over the past couple years, along with more and more homes being built in the area, it definitely does not mean that Chalfont is even close to overdevelopment or crowded or anything like that. And next are the Chalfont Borough Services, which are amazing. There are things such as the leaf pickup multiple times a year that Chalfont Borough offers. If you live in Chalfont Borough, you could fill up as many biodegradable bags as you want and put them out on the curb on these specific days and the borough will come by, pick them up completely free. And they also have a couple times throughout the year that you can also put yard trimmings and tree trimmings in a bag as well and they'll come up and pick those up completely free. It's super convenient and it overall just keeps your yard clear and keeps pretty much all throughout Chalfont completely clear of yard debris and a bunch of leaves as well. And overall, it's just another great thing about living in Chalfont. And number seven on our list is the thriving restaurant scene. And you may be thinking, how does such a small town like Chalfont have a thriving restaurant scene? Let me explain. So although Chalfont does have a couple of great restaurants in Chalfont, I would consider Chalfont to have a thriving restaurant scene because you're very close to Doylestown, Montgomeryville, Souderton, and the newly rebuilt Dublin, Pennsylvania. And all of those areas have a very walkable and popular downtown area. So I would kind of consider Chalfont to have the best of both worlds because you don't have to worry about the traffic and the tons of influx of people coming to visit Chalfont because there's no walkability there. But you also have the option of being very close to a bunch of different towns that you can go anytime, multiple different downtown areas and enjoy any of those whenever you want. Before we jump over to number eight, which is the real estate in Chalfont and along with all of the different real estate options and average price points, points in Chalfont, make sure to comment below and let me know if Chalfont kind of matches up with what you're looking for. And if you would prefer maybe a town that has a very walkable downtown area, or if you would prefer more of a small town, maybe farm land type wide open area. All right, so number eight, the real estate in Chalfont. 
There's a great variety of apartments, townhomes, and single family homes in Chalfont. Everything from a very historic home that dates back to the 18 or 1900s, all the way up to brand new apartment complexes, brand new townhouses, and also the typical single family home, but also with a mix of the very luxury homes as well. Without just giving you one single number that is the average median price point of a home in Chalfont, I'm gonna break it up to give you a better idea of kind of what the numbers would look like. The average median price point for a townhome in Chalfont is $379,000. And the median price for a single family home in Chalfont is currently $667,000. Keep in mind that there is a wide variety of different single family home options in Chalfont. Everything from $350,000 all the way up to about $2 million and everything in between with the average single family home being about 550 to 700,000. And number nine is according to niche.com, the Chalfont area has an overall A rating with A plus public schools. The public schools that service the Chalfont area is the Central Bucks School District, which is also the number one best school district in all of Bucks County. Niche gives Chalfont an A plus good for families rating and a C minus job rating. And that's mostly just because of the lack of jobs that are in the actual town of Chalfont as opposed to the towns that surround Chalfont. So if you're considering a move to Chalfont or anywhere within the Philadelphia suburb area, I would love to be a real estate resource of choice. All of my contact information is below, but until then, I will see you on this next video.